A dentist has been sentenced to a minimum of 21 years in jail for murdering his wife and his ex-lover's husband. In 1991, Colin Howell poisoned the pair with car exhaust fumes and then he staged an elaborate plot to make it look like they'd killed themselves in a suicide pact. For 19 years, he hid the perfect crime from this coastal community. Colin Howell had murdered his wife and the husband of his then lover. They were thought to have died in a suicide pact. He uh, was a Christian man, or professed to be a Christian man, and, and um, practiced the Baptist faith. So, so I'm sure, given those circumstances, that he found it extremely difficult to conduct his own life and conduct his own Christian life with, with, uh, with this albatross around his neck. It was 1991 when the bodies of Leslie Howell and Trevor Buchanan were found close to cottages in Castle Rock. Neighbours believed they had taken their own lives because their partners had been having an affair. A car was found in the garage, the engine running, uh, a lady in the back seat, uh, apparently clutching photographs of her children, and uh, a gentleman in the front. Howell drove to the cottages with his victims' bodies in the boot of the car. He'd poisoned them with car fumes, pumped into each of their homes through a hose pipe. Both were found inside the car. Leslie Howell had a Walkman on, playing gospel music. Her husband had staged the double suicide before escaping along this path to the beach. Few people questioned the suicide verdict until Colin Howell's conscience got the better of him. Firstly, his son died in tragic circumstances. Then he lost a fortune in a financial scam. And finally, his second wife, an American, moved out. He felt he'd nothing left to lose, contacted a Christian friend and confessed to double murder. Howell was a cosmetic dentist of world renown. Jordanian royals were among his patients. His fall from grace has gripped Northern Ireland. Trevor Buchanan's friends were stunned when his apparent suicide became a murder inquiry. Certainly the revelation surprised me and again with the value of hindsight isn't it great? You know we can all look back and say well you know there was this that and the other thing but nobody ever thought that until the revelations came forward and all this was brought out. Howell's former lover and co-accused Hazel Stewart seen here with her current husband denies the charges. Her trial is now expected to take place early in the new year. David Blevins Sky News in Belfast.